So in this video, I know I said about a few days ago I was going to do uh, about a login form that I needed. Um, I'll do that at some point, but it's not this one. So this is basically about about doing a background image and how do you change uh, the one that's a default one. And uh, the video that this question was actually asked was this one here on the uh, with the grayscale thing here. So just pop this into Bootstrap Studio and just knock this update thing out of the way. Um, I don't know uh, if it's just me or anything like this, but I'm having a little bit of problems with importing at the moment. Uh, I don't know if it's a bug just on these latest installations um, that Bootstrap developers, Bootstrap Studio developers are doing, but um, that's just something to think about at the moment on this, uh, this brand new one, I think. Right, so here we have obviously the uh, this background and this is just a landing page really so if we just going to pop this into a browser and I should open up in Opera GX so and that does that so here we are with this and this is just your normal landing page and yeah anyway when you actually see these landing pages you don't see the normal jpegs and things like that because they're already built into the the code so if we go back into bootstrap studio and we'll have a look at this so these are the images on the right hand side is normal um if we just knock these down here and the images is downloads dash bg jpeg which is not this page it's the next one that will be on this downloads here this here though at the front of this is the the home page thing here is uh, intro dash bg dot jpeg so if we have a look at this and if we go in we see that that size is 1500 by 1125 88 kilobytes so these are important these kilobytes usually with the web try and when you do these images don't make them massive as in the size is fine but people when they look at images on online if the uh, on websites they're not really that bothered about you know like how great it's going to look as long as it looks decent so it's not a photography thing um, as such anyway I've just done a little uh, well this image here peacock butterfly um, and this is 11 when you're doing this go into your photo editor and uh, make sure that it's the same size as this one you're trying to replace so this one here I have is 1500 by 1125 as I said the import usually is no problem just transferring it over or drag and drop but on here um, I'm just going to with the images I'm just going to right click this import images <coughs> <coughs> import image and here you've got your butterfly and that just goes in here so here we have that peacock butterfly right to get this here is um, what we're looking for here so it's actually in the uh, in the code as I said it's not like an image gallery whereas that's easy enough to just replace it with your own images again make sure that it's the same size as what you've uh, what you've got or what's actually as the default here and like I say it's it, the size is there to see so on here what we have to look for is just JPEG so you just put dot JPEG and here we find this so it's called the background image with URL intro PG so that's that there so to replace this is we just have this see that is now gone over to here with the intro so that's gone on to the element style and we're going to just change that so we just leave the JPEG because the images that we're going to replace is just going to be in this case it's going to be peacock uh, peacock 
butterfly. All right, so there you can see actually it's changed straight away. So that is really all you do on that one. Um, you know, when, when I get questions and that, people say, well, you can do it another way. And, and like I've always said, there's about three, four ways maybe to do these things on Bootstrap Studio. There's a drag and drop way, or there's the proper way, or what I would call the proper way is, is by coding the thing. So whichever way you want to do it, whichever way it works for you, um, as we're going to here to see this change, and it's going to reload the um yeah so uh, there's you know i have no problem whichever way it works for s someone else but i'm just doing it the way that you would do with the chord um which i think that that teaches people better you know that's that's just my way so you see this image is, is actually perfect for this particular website and it's as i say that so sort of in conclusion with that is get the right size for the image and uh, import it and you can call it wherever you want but when you when you um doing this in a photo editor i use zona uh, i'm not sure if people have heard of that but i know that most people will be using photoshop or gimp or whatever they want if it's on linux but find out where it says save as web you know it could say something different but the similar thing as save for web um because that it compresses the size and you know the it, it's only like very tiny and, and you don't want megabytes when you're doing images so once again thanks for watching these videos